We started bombing Iraq that night. <laughs> they broke the show. They stopped the show for Bush to get up. And, but uh, hey, you know. You know, I was playing here. I was going to say, um, this is my comment. Uh, Roger was was saying to me, uh, he doesn't believe in retirement. Yeah. He looks at people like Picasso and some of the other artists right. that. Uh, paint or play till they drop. Right, and he can do that, and I think all of us can, but it's up, that's an individual decision. Exactly. It's what you, what, whatever way you want to interpret that word retirement. Exactly. Certain things you change, your priorities change. You're retiring from doing certain things, but you might open up other things to do, which, you know. But what you're doing now, like I said, I mean, you don't owe anybody anything. You're playing what you like playing. I'm lucky. Hey, I could find a deal with a, with a pretty major label there, you know, and, and I still have my relationship with Sugar Hill and, and uh, everything couldn't ask for anything better. And uh, it gets better and better. I mean, I go do festivals now. I did Merle Fest back east with uh, Herb and Larry and Tony, and then I did a songwriter workshop with uh, Beth Nielsen Chapman. It was fabulous. Now that's something here I've got all these years and I can sit and talk to people, and that's something that I really enjoy doing. You know, that's something Roger could do too. Oh, sure. I'm sure he's already done those kind of things, those workshop things. And all of his things with the folk center are great. I, you know, I wish I had as much computer smarts as he he does, but uh, he's always been fascinated with that stuff. Oh, yeah. But he's, hey, he's a, he's a stand-up guy, and Crosby is, and we all grew up. Bottom line, we all grew up. Now, then when you grow up, you, you appreciate your friendships. Exactly. You know, and, and when you go through things like David went through physically, I went through physically, you really appreciate things. And I've got lots of friends. I have a very dear friend right now who has cancer who I've been consoling on a daily level, daily basis. The guy I went all through school with from second grade to senior in high school. Terrific guy. Anyway, I think I gotta go. I think so. Uh, is there any chance? Anything else, Steve, you can always give me a call. Okay. If you wanna fill in any blanks. Uh, are you going to be playing anywhere in California? Um, I'm playing, yeah, but it's up in late. It's up at the Kate Wolf Memorial Festival. And that's the 30th. That's a week from tomorrow, of Saturday. And that's in Laytonville, which is, gosh, two or three hours north of San Francisco in 101. So no chance of getting you in Southern California this year? Um, I'm playing at Soho in Santa Barbara in July with Herb and Bryson. But uh, we're supposed to play Pasadena. At the old night time, one of these days, we'll be there and put it together. Well, yeah, I'll be working again. I'll be working. So. Well, I'll get out to see you. Yeah. All right, Chris, I'll be in touch. In touch. And uh, I'm getting a website together with this fellow back east, and uh, it's very good. So that'll be up probably in a month or two, but you'll have more information. But yeah, keep in right. touch. And like, 